All right, guys, we're back. Uh, this time we're going to talk about Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Um, Carrie, you had the luxury of seeing this movie. Um, I will give the uh, the log line here. Uh, when the manic Dr. Robotnik, played by Jim Carrey, by the way, uh, returns to Earth with a new ally, Knuckles uh, the Echidna, uh, Sonic and his new friend Tails are all that stands in their way. Um, obviously, Sonic is voiced by Ben Schwartz from the first movie. Uh, Idris Elba um, is voicing Knuckles and Colleen uh, O'Shaughnessy is voicing Tails. Um, all right, Carrie. Yes. How much did you love this movie? <laughs> I loved it a lot. Like, <laughs> this this film feels like such a payoff for the sort of setup that they did in the first film. Like, the first Sonic the Hedgehog film very much feels like an adaption of the character itself and setting up the character on Earth as we know it um, and sort of creating a baseline for Sonic as well as basically creating a backstory for who Robotnik is in this world yeah, and yeah. why he has such a grudge against Sonic. Right. Um, so first game didn't touch on too much of the game lore. Sonic 2 is like exclusively Genesis era game lore. Like, we, oh, that's nice to hear, actually. That's we waste cool. no time. Like, uh, Robotnik is teaming up with Knuckles, and in classic Knuckles fashion, like, he's uh, he's a he's a he's a good strong boy, he's not a smart boy, yeah. and he is very gullible and very naive, and so he is sort of deceived by Robotnik. Um, Knuckles is pursuing the location of the Master Emerald, which is a all-powerful item that can, you know, basically turn anyone's the the possessor's thoughts into reality, and that that sort of, you know, vague all-powerful sort of <laughs> ridiculous <nonsense>. MacGuffin. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> that's all it is. Which is so, fine. That's, that's what yeah, I expect. Out of this you movie. know, it's exactly it's straight out of the games, right? So. Knuckles is the last of the uh, Echidna warrior tribe, uh, which created the Master Emerald and uh, used it for maybe some not so good things and has been trying to get it back. And meanwhile, Knuckles is after Sonic because Sonic is the apprentice of the people who had guarded the Master Emerald. So that's why Knuckles is trying to, that's why mm. Knuckles agrees to work with Robotnik to go after Sonic. Meanwhile, Tails, who has been sort of Watching Sonic from the shadows, honestly, since the events of the first movie, he comes in once he realizes that Robotnik and Knuckles are on their way to help Sonic. So it's this sort of race to find the Master Emerald and to prevent Robotnik from getting it. And um, Sonic hijinks ensue. It is very, very much like a game inspired <laughs> film. Far, far more than the first one ever was. So, uh, but they do it in all the right ways this time, I think. So, like one of the things, well, that's good to hear. Like, so one of the things that I I appreciated about um, the bit I saw the first one, I haven't finished it, but um, is their ability to sort of mix Sonic into this sort of real world, right? It, and it like and it work and not be totally weird, like. I mean, it's a bit weird, right? <laughs> like, we do but... refer to them as extraterrestrials. They're like, we have this alien hedgehog boy who lives in Montana right. now. <laughs> right. Like, it, so it, it is a bit weird, but they somehow made it work. Yeah. Do does it focus as much? Does it try to sort of focus much more on the the core Sonic characters and try to leave those the humans behind, or is it is it a balance, or, or how's it go? It's tough. So at the start of the film, um, Maddie without spoiling and Tom, anything, obviously, without spoiling anything, at the start of the film, Maddie and Tom decide that you know, well, they don't decide. They go to um, Rachel, who is Maddie's sister from the first movie, who's just like very over the top and remains very over the top mm, in this mm. film. Um, so Rachel is getting married in Hawaii, and so Maddie and Tom are in Hawaii, which is like a delightful little excuse. To get them out of the way. Um, but we do have sort of like a. We have sort of a detour. Into Tom and Maddie land. Okay. Uh, sort of at the end of the second act. And while I appreciate what they were trying to do. Which is to still have all of these characters involved. In the main plot. 
that was the only part of the film that I thought dragged a little bit. Um, right. There's there's some genuinely really good moments between uh, Tom, who is portrayed by James Marston, and Sonic um, throughout the film as far as their sort of like, basically Tom is Sonic's dad, right? It's like, yeah, yeah, he is. Um, you know, Tom, Tom sort of takes on this, this paternal role in Sonic's life. Um, and there's some like genuinely heartfelt moments between those two as they sort of try and navigate this world that they're in. Um, but the the extended detour into Tom and Maddie land, particularly since it's like Sonic and Tails and Knuckles and Robotnik are just right. like not there. We're just like focusing on these characters. It felt like a weird tangent to go on. Because it's probably, like it's probably like in their contract, like you need to spend fifteen <laughs> minutes with us, please. Like, we yeah, I mean, movie. and like I get it because you know James Marsden and Tika Sumter are like le- legitimate actors. Yeah, they are. They're legit actors. Um, actors. But it's you know that's no one's going to Sonic Two to see fucking Tom and Maddie Wachowski, like <laughs> right. So that that you know it, that was really where the movie sort of felt like it dragged, in my opinion. Now, um, what are your what are your thoughts on Jim Carrey coming back as uh He is completely <laughs> unhinged in the best way possible. Like you yeah. get the best like physical comedy out of Jim Carrey. You get like what are I'm sure strong improv moments out of him. The banter that he has not just with Idris Elba's knuckles, but with um Agent Stone, who is his sort of assistant in the yeah. first movie who's back um yeah it's it's delightful i at this point i cannot imagine anyone else playing eggman in live action like jim carrey was the absolute perfect choice for him i like every clip i've ever seen or the parts of the first one that i saw with him like yeah he's just nailing it and it's just so funny like because he looks ridiculous but but at the same time you're like yeah, no, that's that's his, this is what I would expect. <laughs> like, this is great. Yeah. yeah, and so I'm glad to hear that he's um, that he's sort of nailing that. Now, uh, before we get out of here, I I I would be remiss if I didn't ask, what are your uh, what are your impressions on sort of the principal three characters, which are Sonic, Tails, and Sonic, Knuckles? Tails, and Knuckles? Um, yeah. so Ben Schwartz returns as Sonic. I thought he was great in the first film, and I think he's just as good here. Um. Idris Elba, I mean, everyone was hype as shit, right? When they cast Idris Elba as Knuckles. And like we were talking before the show, I'm an enormous simp for Knuckles. And I have been literally since I first played the Sonic games as a child. Knuckles has always been my favorite character. And Idris Elba really nails like this sort of like strong, tough guy who just like no fucking brain cells whatsoever. (laughs) Um, Like like, I love Knuckles, but and they refer to Knuckles as like as literally as a bumpkin a few times throughout the movie. (laughs) Like he's not he's not an intelligent character. Um, But Idris Elba sort of lends his own sort of Idris Elba charm to the character in a way that's compelling and doesn't feel like they got Idris Elba just for the sake of getting him. Yeah. Uh, You know, Um, and then meanwhile, we've got um, Colleen O'Shaughnessy as Tails, who is the only person from the game franchise to reprise their roles. Tails has never really been my favorite character. I think Tails sometimes comes off as like cloying and somewhat over the top in the games the way he's written in the games um but the writing team really nailed this genuine earnestness and sense of loyalty and the way that tails looks up to sonic and you know reveres sonic as sort of like his you know role model they Mm. they really nailed that and i don't think anyone but someone who has been playing that character for eight years already could do this role in a way that really does feel sincere and earnest. Right. Um, literally, cool. there's That's a char- cool. there's a moment there's a moment between Sonic and Tails through the movie that like literally brought me mm-hmm. to tears. <laughs> <laughs> I was not I was not going into this film expecting to like have an emotion about <laughs> Sonic and Tails and their friendship, but the way that Ben Schwartz and Colleen O'Shaughnessy were able to play off of each other and really bring these characters to life was just really compelling. And I'm looking forward to seeing more of them in the sequel. All right. Look, so, you know, just before we get out of here, um, a lot of people may not know this knuckles is getting a, um, 
is getting a series on Paramount Plus. There's talk of obviously more of these movies because duh. <laughs> yeah, they've <laughs> already they're, they're, they've they're already confirmed popular. the sequel and boy howdy are they setting up for something big in the stinger. Oh, uh, I okay. Won't, I won't spoil it, but if you're you are a foolish space bumpkin like knuckles if you leave the theater okay. before the credits are up all right there you go so um there's our review for sonic the hedgehog 2 uh clearly uh carrie is a fan so check that out uh i believe you can watch the first one if you haven't seen it like on hulu and stuff like that it, it's pretty well available so check that out if you haven't seen that and then go check out sonic the hedgehog 2 uh which is in theaters um this friday so later guys Thanks.